BlackFacts.com presents Black History Heroes Jesse Jackson Jesse Jackson, original name Jesse Lewis Burns is an American civil rights leader, Baptist minister, and politician. His bids for the U.S. presidency in the Democratic Party's nomination races in 1983-84 and 1987-88 were the most successful by an African American until 2008, when Barack Obama captured the Democratic presidential nomination. Jackson's life and career have been marked by both accomplishment and controversy. He was born on October 8, 1941 in Greenville, South Carolina, U.S. Jesse adopted the name of his stepfather, Charles Jackson, at about age 15. A good student in high school, Jesse was elected class president and later attended the University of Illinois, 1959-60, on a football scholarship. He then transferred to the predominantly black agricultural and technical college of North Carolina in Greensboro and received a BA in sociology, 1964. Jackson married Jacqueline Lavinia Brown on December 31, 1962, and together they have five children, Santita, 1963, Jesse Jr., 1965, Jonathan Luther, 1966, Yusef Du Bois, 1970, and Jacqueline Lavinia, 1975. He moved to Chicago in 1966, did graduate work at the Chicago Theological Seminary, and was ordained a Baptist minister in 1968. While an undergraduate, Jackson became involved in the civil rights movement. In 1965 he went to Selma, Alabama, to march with Martin Luther King, Jr., and became a worker in King's Southern Christian Leadership Conference, SCLC. Jackson helped found the Chicago branch of Operation Breadbasket, the economic arm of the SCLC, in 1966 and served as the organization's national director from 1967 to 1971. He was in Memphis, Tennessee, with King when the civil rights leader was assassinated on April 4, 1968, though his exact location at the moment King was shot has long been a matter of controversy. Accused of using the SCLC for personal gain, Jackson was suspended by the organization, whereupon he formally resigned in 1971 and founded Operation Push, People United to Save Humanity, a Chicago-based organization in which he advocated black self-help and achieved a broad audience for his liberal views. In 1984 he established the National RV Rainbow Coalition, which sought equal rights for African Americans, women, and homosexuals. These two organizations merged in 1996 to form the Rainbow Slash Push Coalition. In 1979 he visited South Africa, where he spoke out against apartheid, and he later journeyed to the strife-ridden Middle East and campaigned to give Palestinians their own state. While some observers and government officials frowned on his diplomatic missions as meddlesome and self-aggrandizing, Jackson nonetheless won praise for negotiating the release of U.S. soldiers and civilians around the world, including in Syria, 1984, Iraq, 1990, and Yugoslavia, 1999. In the 1980s Jackson became a leading national spokesman and advocate for African Americans. Jackson ran for the Democratic presidential nomination in 1984 and 1988, but did not win. Jackson, a dynamic orator, made memorable speeches at later Democratic conventions but declined to run again for the presidency. In 1989 Jackson took residency in Washington, D.C. In 1990, when the Washington City Council created two unpaid offices of statehood senator, popularly called shadow senator, to lobby the U.S. Congress for statehood for the District of Columbia, Jackson won election to one of the posts, his first elective office. In 1997 President Bill Clinton named him a special envoy to Africa, where he traveled to promote human rights and democracy. That year Jackson also founded the Wall Street Project, which sought to increase minority opportunities in corporate America. During the impeachment hearings against Clinton in 1998, Jackson counseled the president, and in 2000 Clinton awarded him the Presidential Medal of Freedom. That year Jackson also received a Master of Divinity degree from the Chicago Theological Seminary. The following year, however, he became embroiled in controversy when it was revealed that he had fathered a child out of wedlock. Jackson continued his social activism, giving lectures and leading protests. His books include Straight from the Heart, 1987, edition by Roger D. Hatch and Frank E. Watkins, and Legal Lynching, Racism, Injustice, and the Death Penalty, 1995. 
His son Jesse Jackson, Jr., served in the U.S. House of Representatives, 1995 to 2012. On August 3, 2021, Jackson and several others were arrested after protesting for Congress to end the filibuster, protect voting rights and raise the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour. Hold your head high. Stick your chest out. You can make it. It gets dark sometimes, but the morning comes. Don't you surrender. Suffering breeds character. Character breeds faith. In the end, faith will not disappoint. You must not surrender. You may or may not get there, but just know that you are qualified and you hold on and hold out. We must never surrender. America will get better and better. Keep hope alive. Keep hope alive. Learn more at blackfacts.com.